Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dunn of AhmedDunn.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Today, I'll talk about credit cards that can save you foreign transaction fees. Most Canadian credit cards charge nasty foreign transaction fees when you shop in a non-Canadian currency. However, with these credit cards, you can save 2.5% as that's the standard fee other cards charge when you shop or buy anything which is in other than Canadian currency. The first credit card I have today is the Amazon Canada Rewards Credit Card. This is a no annual fee credit card that offers no foreign currency fee. However, it doesn't have many perks and features. But this is a good card to keep for foreign travel and online shopping in foreign currency. This is issued by Chase Canada and this card will not work in these countries which are Burma or Myanmar, Cuba, Iran, North Korea, Sudan, Syria and Libya. The second credit card I have today is the Marriott Rewards Premier Visa credit card. This card also issued by Chase Canada and will not work in Burma, Cuba, Iran, North Korea, Sudan, Syria and Libya. This card has a $120 annual fee. However, this is a Marriott hotel chain co-branded credit card and earns Marriott Rewards points and comes with other benefits such as a free night and other perks and features. The next card I have here is Rogers Platinum MasterCard. This card works a little differently than other no fee foreign transaction credit cards. You pay the 2.5% foreign transaction fee. However, Rogers offers 4% cashback in foreign transaction charges. So making it in 1.5% return in foreign purchases. The annual fee is $29 but waived for the first year. However, if you pay your Rogers bills by pre-authorized payment, the annual fee is waived each year. The next card is the CIBC Air Canada AC Conversion Visa Prepaid Card. Although this is a prepaid credit card, it's marketed as a no foreign currency transaction fee as long as you transact in one of the 10 supported currencies it offers. However, when you load foreign currency, it seems to factor in and charge a 2.5% per, uh, foreign transaction fee. Still, I like this card because it lets you withdraw from one ATM per month in a foreign country and as long as it's in the supported currency, and it's safer when you travel because you're the one to decide how much you want to load into the card or how much you'd like to utilize your balance. So basically, you're not traveling around in foreign countries with a card with a huge uh, credit limit. So in that way, if you lose this card and you have a small amount loaded onto the card, then you're still much safer than losing other uh, big credit cards. My last credit card is the Tangerine Moneyback MasterCard. The Tangerine Moneyback MasterCard is a free, no annual fee credit card that charges you only 1.5% foreign transaction fees instead of 2.5%. Although this is not a 0% foreign transaction fee card, still it's better than 2.5%. That's all for today. Please keep an eye on this channel. And if you like what you see or if you find the content helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you.